Hey everybody, this is Robert from Kapoing. The long-awaited successor to Vine is out now and it's called Byte. Let's talk about it. So Byte has finally arrived. Uh, this is essentially Vine 2. It's from the creators of Vine and it works much like the original Vine app. So if we hop right in here, we'll see. Uh, it's a feed, as you'd expect, of six second looping videos. And uh, there's not much more to it than that. This is you know, about what you'd expect from an app that people are calling Vine 2. Um, if we go over to the camera, we can kind of look at how these things are made. So as I press the center button here and start recording, you'll see the time filling up there at the top. That shows how many seconds I've used on my video and how many seconds I have left. Once I've filmed a little bit, just like Vine, I can stop and I can do other things. Like I can go to my camera roll and add a video that may be relevant to my post, put that in there. Uh, there's also this ghosting feature that shows you the last frame of whatever you shot last so then you can match up your head uh, to continue that sequence. And besides these two things, there's really not much more to creation on Byte. It's a very minimal app right now, and that means that if you're going to want to do anything complex, it's going to have to happen outside of Byte. So even just looking at my feed right here at a video like this one, there's you know a split screen going on, there's text on screen. These things cannot be made in Byte right now. But what I'm gonna do in this video, uh, besides kind of give an overview and tour of Byte, is I wanna show you an easy way that you can you know make and edit things like this to upload into Byte. Until they start adding a more rich creative set, you're gonna be reliant on outside tools to make the best possible and most interesting content. So we're going to use a free online editor called Kapwing to do exactly that today. So how can we make a Vine that looks a little more interesting than something that we can shoot on the app today? Let's hop over to Kapwing and take a look. Okay, so we'll start here at kapwing.com slash studio. And basically what I want to do is grab this Twitch clip I've made and turn it into a bite. So we've got several issues to start off. One, it's a landscape style video, so it's not really gonna fit well on a vertical video app like um, Byte. So we'll fix that with Kapwing and we'll add some other elements. So cool thing about Kapwing, I can just copy the link to that uh, Twitch clip. You can do it with a YouTube URL, whatever kind of video you're working with, and just paste it right here into Kapwing. Then it's gonna pull that video right in. So that's perfect. Now I know that for um, a vertical byte style video, I need to be at nine by 16. So I'll just change my output size over here and you'll see the video adjust. So I click lock ratio on my video and it's back to its full size. So I'm just gonna slap it in the middle of the screen here. And now this is gonna be kind of a meme style video where you've got a landscape video in the center with some other elements around it. So um, it is a Fortnite video. The Fortnite colors are, you know, this kind of unique blend of purple. So I'll change the background to purple. And I can also trim my clip in here. So it's a little long. I only have six seconds to work with after all. So I think I'm just gonna try and get the one moment of action here. Uh, that's just about it. Perfect. Oh what a shot. Perfect. I was pretty hyped about that shot. So let's see. Our output is about 3.4 seconds. Uh, four seconds here. Yeah. Let's see. Oh my God. What a shot. Yeah. Okay. So that's perfect. That'll fit uh, right into a bite. It's just four seconds long. So I'm going to go ahead here and add some text on top. So, um, it's something cheeky like Fort Bite, haha, I get it. So, make that bigger here. Um, this is all super easy to do right inside of Kapwing Studio Editor. Um, over here, I can change the font to something a little more, you know, Fortnite esque. We have this font called Luckiest Guy that I like to use, it's very Fortnite. Change the color of this to white, and you know, this is starting to shape up into like a kind of interesting looking bite video. Um, I can use my image selector up here to find some Fortnite imagery. So I'll say Fortnite PNG and let's see what comes up. There's a lot of different options here. Some of it might work, some of it won't. Oh, this is pretty cool. So I grab this PNG and like with anything else, I can lock the ratio to make sure the size is right. Put a couple of these guys down here. 
It's kind of a speed run. I would probably spend a little more time on this if I wasn't making a video for you, but you know, it works for the sake of the demo. And then, um, you know, get a couple of those guys in there. And then I might even put a plug to my Twitch channel down at the bottom. So down here I'll say twitch.tv slash kapoing. And, you know, we'll make it a little smaller so that it fits down here. We know that um, Byte has the caption that appears in this area of the screen. So I won't touch that. I will just, uh, you know, leave some blank space down there so my caption isn't covering up any of my text. And let's see how this thing looks. Oh, my God. What a shot. It's perfect. I think that's ready for bite. I think it's a little more interesting. I think the landscape video fits well and I can just click publish. Now this process only takes a few seconds depending how long your video is, but for the sake of a bite being just six seconds long, it's not going to take that long. Okay. So our video is done processing. Uh, it looks good. It looks like it turned out correctly. It's only four seconds. So I can just go ahead and download that. I can download it on my uh, desktop here, or I could also download it um, via my mobile browser. And uh, next we'll show you how to import that over into Byte. Okay, so let's go post this thing into Byte. So we'll go and press the circular button at the bottom of the screen and then press the plus. Go to my photos and tap our new clip, choose. Once you're in Byte, it'll give you a trim tool. You don't have to use it for this video though. Applying edits. And still got some time left because this thing's only four seconds long. So we could add more to it, but I'm happy with how it turned out. So I'll just go ahead and press the arrow here. And there it is, right inside of Byte. And it looks like it fits really well with the uh, channel and caption. So I'll go ahead and add this to gaming. And look at that shot. So we're all ready and we'll go ahead and post. And after a couple seconds, it will go live right into the Byte app. And we've now made a Byte that you could never in a million years make with the Byte editor. And you know, we did it for free and without really too much effort. It didn't require any expensive software. We just used the Kapoing Studio. So really cool. Um, easy way to go ahead and make better bites that you cannot currently make in the app today. So this works for all kinds of content. Look at that. We're already getting some likes. This works for all kinds of content. Um, and even if you're just filming videos with the camera on your phone and you want to add some additional text or stickers or whatever on top, Kapoing is a great tool for that. So really excited to see what happens with Byte over the next few months. I've got a lot of uh, hope for this app blowing up. But um, in the meantime, I'm going to keep using Kapoing to make interesting content. Please give us a follow over at Kapoing on Byte. And we'll be back with more tutorials on Byte and TikTok and all things short form video soon. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're on Byte, please comment down below with your username. We'll give you a follow. Uh, we don't have many accounts that we're following yet. And we want to find some cool creators, especially ones who are using Kapoing. So thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Kapoing!